Good morning, GNT. As Nicholas Devoin here from Golf Box Academy and of course Lake Carnot Country Club. I hope this video finds you safe and well. And on behalf of Ainsley and myself, we hope to see you again on one of our tours. We've got so many tours lined up for 2020 or 2021, I should say. So make sure you head over to the website and check out what's coming up in the Golf and Tours calendar. Outside of that, today's video, we're gonna be talking about a major slice or a slice that you might have and why the reason is that you could be slicing the ball. So if it sounds like you and you might be interested in this, grab a cup of tea, sit down and watch this because you never know, it might help you. Now, before I actually get into today's video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button to the Golf and Tours website. But then also just go check out in the description, you'll see links to my own YouTube channel, which is Golf Box Academy. Make sure you head over to there because you're gonna find lots of swing tips and training aid reviews for you to help you with your game of golf. Now, first of all, we need to define what a toe strike is because we can sort of hit it out of the toe. And this is when we start to talk about a driver if we're hitting it slightly right of center or moving into probably one to one and a half centimeters off the center of the face, we have what we would consider a minimal or a minor toe strike. And when you're hitting a driver with that kind of contact, you generally get what we call negative gearing and it shapes the ball actually right to left. So in today's video, this goes for irons and woods, but we're talking about those strikes which are significantly out to the toe, somewhere around here. Now, I don't have any strike spray with me this morning, but if we were to identify the strike zone with strike spray, we are talking about excessively out to the toe. We're talking two, maybe three centimeters out of the toe. And when you usually strike the club there, whether it's driver or iron, we're talking major rights. We're missing the planet. We're missing the fairway. We're missing the bush. We're possibly hitting the fairway next to the bush on the other side. So let's talk about, or let's define the three reasons why we possibly could be hitting it that far out on the toe. And number one, and probably the easiest one to go by is what we would call setup, being too far away from the golf ball. If you see yourself excessively reaching for the golf ball and getting yourself into a really bad posture with too much arm stretch, that's generally gonna mean when you're coming into the ball, you've got a very, very, very good chance of striking it out on the toe. Now, the big thing is with, with regards to this video is I'm gonna leave links in the description for videos of how you can change your setup and the other two key points as to how you can fix these problems. This video is more purely about you understanding what the three major causes are for, like I said, hitting it out on the toe. And like I said, number one straight away is being too far away from the golf ball. And being too far away from the golf ball means you're reaching for it too much as you're coming into impact and bang, there we go. We strike it off the toe and the ball's heading completely right, missing the fairway. The second most common cause as to why we get that toe strike as well is what I would consider probably one of the most common things that we see with club golfers and that's the over the top motion as you're coming into the ball. Generally what happens is when we start to come too far over the top, the club's moving severely left. As we get to the most crucial point, which is the impact zone, we catch it off the toe, and again, off we go, and we are flying off to the right. So there's two reasons. Number one, too far away, and then number two, that's typical over the top motion as we come into the golf ball. And then finally, number three, and it's probably Again, another common thing, but this one's more that we see with your elite players. And it's that word that we call, or that thing that we call early extension. And when we get early extension, it means as we're coming into the most crucial part or impact, we tend to, we tend to stand tall as we're coming into impact. And what that does is it shortens the handle and brings it in close to our body. And then again, here we go, we're striking it off the toe. So those are probably the three major causes as to why you could possibly be getting a toe strike. Now the thing is, is we need to discover which one you're doing first. So make sure that you set a camera from down the line and film yourself from down the line. And like I always say to people, when you're filming from down the line, make sure that it's in line with your hands because that's going to give you the best sign of what you possibly could be doing. Now all three of these faults should be filmed from down the line. Discover which one you are 
And then like I said, from there, go into the description, pick out the one that best describes you, and then you can actually go ahead and fix that problem.